we did receive confirmation yesterday that Sergeant Gene Vance of Morgantown, West Virginia, um, was killed on Sunday in an exchange of gunfire near the, near the village of Shikin, which is right on the Afghanistan border with Pakistan. Sergeant Vance was a member of the 19th Special Forces Group of the West Virginia National Guard. His unit was patrolling southeastern Afghanistan in an effort to locate and eliminate any pockets of al-Qaeda and Taliban resistance. He was doing his duty. On behalf of the members of the Senate, and I believe I can so speak, I want to express to Sergeant Vance's wife, Lisa, and his daughter, Amber, our deepest sympathy at their loss and ours. And I extend those condolences to other members of Sergeant Vance's family who must be going through the kind of grief now which some people have become accustomed to, but not many. He was a member of the West Virginia National Guard, and I had the honor to be governor of West Virginia for eight years. And I know that um, it just so happens that the West Virginia National Guard has top rankings all across the country in all respects professionally audited, so to speak. There's no stronger embodiment of the patriotism that runs so deep in the mountains of my state of West Virginia. America's early success in the war in Afghanistan in driving the Taliban from power has created for many Americans, I think, the illusion that a danger has passed, that things have returned to normal, a few more metal detectors, perhaps, a few more security guards, longer lines to board airplanes, but otherwise, uh, life seems to be getting back to the way it was before September 11th. That's foolhardy thinking. Sergeant knew it, and he was doing his duty. The vice president asserted, I think correctly, that there will be more attacks, that we are foolish if we're not prepared, if we're not mindful, of this. If we Americans are managing to live our daily lives without fear, that may bring us some comfort, but it is entirely due to the courageous efforts being made by men like Sergeant Vance um, and women in uniform in Afghanistan and elsewhere. Their efforts are not always the lead stories anymore. But they are taking the time to do the job right, eliminating the terrorists that perpetrated the attacks on this country on September 11th. In an area of, as they say, asymmetric threats, when small groups can develop weapons of mass destruction, and now we're, now we're looking at the um, possibility of probability of suicide bombers, and a group of 19 fanatics can carry out an attack of unprecedented devastation with relative ease on American soil, it's clear that our security will not be assured until we eliminate, not defeat, but eliminate the terrorists who are committed to hurting us. Our forces in Afghanistan continue to perform a vital national task, and we all darn well better recognize that. The death of Sergeant Vance is a reminder that they continue to put themselves at considerable risk in unbelievably hostile territory and often in a hostile society. I don't know what it is that makes fine Americans feel so deeply the love of their country that they're prepared to risk their life for it. I want to say that I know what it is, but I think it's a mystery that all of us um, revere and um, it's within the souls and the hearts of each individual person who goes over to fight and to defend our way of life. We can never know that, in other words, entirely. But we can know, and what we must never forget, is that we Americans who enjoy the freedoms and comforts that our society provides only do so because men like Sergeant Vance are willing to do what they did, engage in a firefight, lose his life. 
So we mourn the death of Sergeant Vance in Afghanistan, and we're reminded yet again that America's strength is built on the individual decisions of hundreds of people in their own individual ways, and sometimes, of course, they can't foresee. They sign up, they go, they can't foresee what's going to happen. And sometimes what happens brings great, great sadness to many, many people. To Sergeant Vance's wife and daughter, as you grieve, let your sense of loss be joined by the knowledge that Gene Vance died for a just and noble cause. He was prepared to put himself on the line for America, for Americans, and for the society that he wanted you, Lisa, and you, Amber, to be able to live in, in peace. I thank the presiding officer, Yale, for it.